Welcome to Calculator Active, operating the TI-73 Explorer. My name is Yumiya Pearson, and today I want to take some time just to familiarize you with the basic operations of the TI-73 Explorer. As you can see on my screen, I have downloaded an actual calculator, um, and you're able to do that if you would go to this web address here. Um, and specific instructions as to how to download this particular calculator have been shared with you on the Google Drive. But if you have a calculator in hand today, you will press the exact same keys and see the exact same things that I see. Um, if you just follow along. Okay. All right, so first I wanna talk about um, actually cutting the calculator on and off. Um, the contrast keys, how to reset the home screen, how to type in numbers and text, and um, the secondary functions of the calculator. So first to cut the calculator on, we're going to look at the bottom left corner, and on the actual blue key here, you see the words on, so we're going to click that. When the calculator comes on, the cursor blinks on what is called the home screen. As long as the calculator has been cut off um, correctly and it didn't go off on its own, the cursor will blink on that home screen. To cut the calculator off, off is written above the on key in yellow. So to access any of the functions that are written in yellow, you need to first activate the second function, the secondary function. So we're going to push the second key. You see an up arrow that comes on your screen, so that means it's ready for whatever that second function is. And then we're gonna push the on. So that has cut the calculator off. Okay, great, so let's cut it back on. Now, there are times when you cut your calculator on and you may not see anything on the screen and immediately people think that it has to do with the batteries. So that's not always true. It may have to do with the contrast of the screen. So to make that screen darker or lighter we're going to use the up and down arrows here and if you look these four directional arrows go in the direction that you see um, but the up and down have a second function here of lightening and darkening your screen so if I push second up and continue to do that you can tell that the contrast on the screen is getting darker if I push second down and continue that pattern, you can see that the screen is lighting, lightening up. Um, so this is something that you'll want to do if, for example, you cut your calculator on and can't see anything. You'll definitely want to push the second and down arrows to lighten the screen. Great. Okay, next, um, let's look at some basic operations. Um, here you can see the numbers zero through nine. There's a decimal here and also so a negative key. So let's say I wanna do the operation negative three minus nine. If you look on the screen, the negative um, is higher up on the screen than the minus sign. And the minus appears to be a little longer as well. So negative three minus nine, I want that answer. I'm gonna go here to the bottom right corner and press enter, and then I, I get my answer. If I look above the enter key, there's entry in yellow. So that means that in order to activate that function, I need to push the second key and enter. And so what this gives you is the last entry that you typed in. So um, if I want that answer again, I'm gonna push enter. If I want my last answer to come back on the home screen and that whole last operation, I can just push enter and everything that I just typed comes back up. If you want to clear your home screen, sometimes people don't like to see a lot of things on the screen at one time, you're just gonna push the clear button. If I'm typing something and let's say I'm doing 25, divided by five, but I mistakenly type four, then I'll push the delete back arrow and then um, delete, and then it will erase the four. And so I can then type five and then press enter. Right. 
Now to access the alphabet. Um, if you look above the math key, you see the words text. So that means I can only activate that function by pressing the second key in math. And now all the letters of the alphabet along with a few symbols are there as well. So let's say I want to type uh, the word math. I'm going to press down arrow and arrow over till I get to M. Enter. I'm going to arrow back up and to the left for A. Enter. Down and to the right for T. And then up and to the left for H. Okay. And when I'm done, I can arrow down until I get to done. Press enter. And then the word math is on my screen. Okay, great. So those are the basic functions. Um, one of the last things that we'll do when we finish, and this is something that you'll want to do whenever you your students finish using the calculator for the class period, is to reset the calculator. So to reset it, we're going to reset all of the RAM by pushing second and zero. This brings up the memory functions. So second, zero. Again, we're resetting. So that function is number seven. You can either press the number seven or you can arrow down to seven. I'm going to press the number seven. Okay, and we're going to reset all of the RAM. So I'm going to press number one and we're ready to reset. And so we press number two. And once you have done that, you'll see the message RAM cleared. So again, the keystrokes for that are second, zero, seven, one, two. Okay, great. Hope this short tutorial on the basic operations of TI-73 is helpful. We're going to cut the calculator off by clicking second and on. There will be some videos to follow on some of the operations that can be used within class with your students as well. Thank you.